Today on the show, we're going to be taking a look at the DC Showcase Presents Green Lantern. Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Gun TV where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. As I said, guys, today we're taking a look at the DC Showcase Presents Green Lantern Omnibus. Just look at how thick this thing is. Uh, in comparison, we have here the character the Batman character encyclopedia that I showed you before uh, for comparison we've also got Green Lantern Rebirth and this thing is just massive it's full of the old Silver Age stories it's not colored it's completely black and white in brightest day all right Green Lantern Volume 1. In brightest day and blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evils might beware my power. Green Lantern's light. A dying, a dying alien summoned test pilot Hal Jordan and gave him the most powerful weapon in the universe. A power ring. Jordan was inducted into the universe spanning Green Lantern Corps and assigned to protect a sector of space, including Earth. His sheer willpower directs the ring... To create fantastic energy constructs and with it protect the good from evil. This collection includes the earliest Green Lantern stories from showcase number 22 through 24 and Green Lantern 1 through number 17. In these action packed tales, you will meet his mysterious alien masters, the Guardians of the Universe, many of his intergalactic comrades, and some of his deadliest opponents, such as Hector Hammond, Sonar and Sinestro. Written by Silver Age master John Broom, the stories were penciled by Gil Kane with inks from Joe Gaiella and Murphy Anderson. And then here's other showcases. Um, I did not get this from Borders. We have a store here in town called the Old Book Barn. Uh, basically they sell used books. They have a lot of comics in there. Um, not in great condition, and um, they don't really know how to price comics. They price them for way more than they're actually worth. Um, but I was lucky; this was in really good condition. I, I paid, I paid about twenty bucks for it. So, here we have. The first issue, Abinser's death, and how Jordan being given the Green Lantern ring for the first time. It actually looks like the ring didn't actually create Green Lantern's costume first. It actually looks like how Jordan stripped Abin Sur of his uniform and put it on himself. Uh, see, he's kind of pulling his clothes tight. Uh, that would be retconned in later uh, more modern comics. But as you can see, it's pretty nice. I would have liked it to be colored, uh, but I can understand why they didn't. You know, Menace of the Giant Puppet. The Secret of the Golden Thunderbolts. Um, which would later be retconned into the Thunderers of Quard. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Quard is a planet that... It's been retconned a few times. Um, sometimes it's in the antimatter universe of Quard. Other times it's a planet of Quard. Uh, but the Thunderers are a race from Quard. Uh, part of, I think, two races. One is the Weaponers, which create weapons like the Sinestro Ring, which is a yellow power ring. Uh, they even, I believe... Uh, at one time created the anti-Green Lantern rings. 
which are kind of a black and purple type powering uh, used by mindless drones and because it required willpower the rings eventually destroyed the drones that warm and then there's the thunderers of cord which are uh, a warrior uh, race and they kind of enslaved the weaponers and so <coughs> as you can see the artwork back in the time it wasn't great but it wasn't bad either uh, very very cheap I guess artwork uh, nowhere near the quality of detail as today's uh, artists put into them. But still, it's not bad at all. And I have not read this whole thing. Uh, I do plan on it at some point. And I may even do some videos on the old Green Lantern stories from this book um, but I'm not sure but still it's very nice to have in the in the collection uh, especially if you're a huge Green Lantern fan like John and I are um, I actually got into Green Lantern back in 2006 maybe 2005 uh, just because I liked I know this is going to sound kind of um, cheap or whatever but I actually got into him because I liked his newer designs um, the I didn't like the way he was colored in the older comics. You know, he had that almost forest green uh, suit. He had the trunks and everything, and I didn't really care for that. But when they started updating him, uh, that's when I really kind of drifted towards him and started reading comics. Uh, I think the first few comics of Green Lantern I got were Emerald Twilight. So. <clears throat> but anyway. There you have it guys. DC Showcase presents Green Lantern. Uh, when did this come out? This is number one by the way. Uh, let's see if I can find when this came out. Um. 2010, it looks like, is the copyright. So, it's eight years old. But, not bad. I definitely recommend picking it up. Especially if you're a Green Lantern fan. Uh, it's better to have this to read and collect the old stories and never open them. Than to collect the old stories, open them to read them, and risk damaging them. So anyway, I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell to receive notifications on all our uploads. Uh, we do all kinds of stuff on this channel. We have toy reviews. We have Funko Pop reviews. We have minifigure reviews, comic book reviews. Uh, store, uh, we reread ish, single issues and entire stories in our own words. Uh, on here, similar to Comic Storian, but we do different comics than Comic Storian does. Um, so we're not ripping him off ent <laughs> entirely. Um, we have our own thing. We like to focus mainly on the indie comics, more of the um, minor publishers like Boom, like uh, <clears throat> IDW, Dynamite. Image, uh, 
he more or less focuses on DC and Marvel. You know, a lot of boom, uh, Power Rangers boom stuff too. But with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Shannon from Come Again TV. Take care, everyone.